What I'm going to do in this video is show you where to position a light. So you have lots of options where to position the light and where you put the light makes a huge difference to the look of the portrait. So in a, for, for a simple one light portrait like we're doing now, with a flash in an umbrella as we have set up. So again, we've got the trigger on the camera, we've got the flash set up to retrieve, to receive the trigger. Um, and we've already set the exposure. So I've already worked out in the previous video what exposure is working for me. So all, that, all of that is going to stay the same. All I'm going to do in this video is show you the difference between placing the, the flash in different positions to light somebody's face and the look that that can have on the shot. The principle pull that we're going to follow here is that Natasha is going to stay in exactly the same position looking in the same place. I'm going to take all three shots from the same position, but all I'm going to do is move the flash around to show you the difference it makes when you take shots with a flash in a different position. So again, the only variable here is the change of position of the flash. I'm staying in the same position, Natasha stays where she is, but I'll show you the shots as I take them and you will see the difference that happens when, as you move flash around and the way it lights somebody's face. So let's just get on with it. So what I'm gonna ask Natasha to do is kind of look over this way. So she, Natasha, great, she does that. So my first shot is, I'll just show you what I'll do. The first shot is here with the flash, kind of I'll be in the same plane, the same angle as the flash. The next shot, I will move it so that it's kind of direct, where Natasha is looking, the flash will be directly in front of her face. So the light will go straight into her face and we'll see the effect of that. And the next shot, I'll kind of do more of a Rembrandt lighting, so a lighting from the off side of Natasha's face. So what I'll do is I'll take the three shots now. So shot number one, actually I'm gonna make the flash a bit closer. Okay, so the first shot is here. One more. Okay, so shot number two, we have the light directly into Natasha's face there. So I'm gonna come back to the same position, take the shot again. Good, and then the final shot, I'm gonna do kind of almost lighting the side of Natasha's face that's away from the camera. Good, and you get a kind of more Rembrandt lighting. So you've seen the three shots, I'll show you the shots again. So the first shot, the light was directly onto Natasha's sort of cheek that's facing the camera. You get more of a flattening look of the face. The other shot where the, shot, the light was straight into her face from this side, you get nice sculpting of the cheekbones and it's, you know, that kind of works really well for most people. And then the final shot gives us a more of a Rembrandt type lighting in that the, main, the light is coming from the side of her face that's away from the camera. We get a lot of shadow towards the camera, so you get a kind of more angular look. If you do that shot really well, you get that little triangle of light under the eye here, and that gives you what's often called Rembrandt lighting, and it's a nice kind of characterful look of the shot. So again, just to reiterate what I've done, all I've done, I've, taken, I've been in the same position, Natasha's in the same place, I've just moved the light to three places. So can you replicate that? Can you, can you do those three shots yourself? And the correct lighting to use is there's no right answer to that. Different people's faces suit different types of lighting. If you want, uh, if you have someone with a broader face or a more angular face, you can try different types of lighting or do you want a more atmospheric shot or do you want a more straight up kind of headshot? All these decisions will inform you of where to position the light. And this is kind of your first decision to make when choosing portraits with flash, where you position. This is what we would call the main light. We can introduce fill light, hair light, background light later, but this main light is the key decision you need to make when you first start out using flash. You can do great things with one light and then you can introduce your, separate, your other lights separately. But thinking about where your main light goes is a really important consideration and it can dr drastically alter the look of your final shot.